Today, the Transportation Department reported more than 35,000 people were killed on U.S. roads last year, an increase of 7.7 percent from 2014. One factor, lower fuel prices led to more Americans driving more miles. But a deadly crash this year has focused new attention on cars that use autopilot technology to essentially drive themselves. Here's transportation correspondent Chris Van Cleve. In a YouTube video, former Navy SEAL Joshua Brown shows the semi-autonomous autopilot feature on his Tesla S sedan saving him from a collision. In May, 40-year-old Brown was killed when his Tesla, driving with the autopilot feature activated, collided with a semi-trailer as it turned left across a Florida intersection. In a statement, Tesla says neither autopilot nor the driver noticed the white side of the trailer against a brightly lit sky, so the brake was not applied. This first fatal accident involving autopilot is now being investigated by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Something failed in the system uh, because it did not detect the large tractor trailer and it did not apply the brakes in time. Byron Block is an auto safety researcher. What does this accident say about where we are as far as semi or completely autonomous vehicles? Uh, it says we're rushing very quickly, maybe much too quickly. There are no even basic minimum standards uh, yet issued by NHTSA. The fatal crash investigation comes as Google and several automakers are rapidly developing autonomous vehicles, and initial federal guidelines for self-driving cars are being finalized. Guidelines that will likely be broad strokes for now. They are expected later this summer. Jessica Caldwell from Edmunds.com. I think it may give them reason to pause for a minute, look at what happened, look to see if the technologies that they're working on address these type of issues, what kind of issues can also happen that are similar to this. The semi-driver alleges Brown was watching a movie and may have been speeding at the time of the accident. Police are still investigating the crash. Josh, Tesla stresses drivers need to keep their hands on the wheel and be ready to take complete control of the vehicle at any time when the autopilot is active. Chris Van Cleef tonight, thank you.